Hello everyone, and welcome uh, again to another edition of um, Domain Controller Security. In today's installment, I want to talk about uh, one of the options that you can actually use from Microsoft Security Compliance Toolkit. Uh, this is an additional, additional um, thing uh, that comes with the whole pack. So. If we go to the download page and we will go with the download, we have the policy analyzer uh, tool, which is very handy. And I'm going to show you how you can actually check uh, the default policies of your domain controllers and uh, basically compare them with uh, the requested policies that uh, Microsoft has prepared. So from the baseline policies. So what we need to do, of course, we need to download this file that contains the policy analyzer and we need to download the Windows security baseline. I'm not going to do that because I already have them downloaded on my DC. So here's the security baseline, here's the policy analyzer. As you can see, uh, here's the analyzer here and the baselines, um, security baselines, here are all the GPOs that we are going to be using to compare to our uh, GPOs. Okay, so uh, another thing that we need to do is we need to create an additional folder just for comparing the GPOs, so I just created one called it policy compare, just straightforward and easy, nothing fancy here. Okay, so first of all, we need to go to our group policy management and we will need to go to our group policy objects. And I will first uh, download the default domain policy. So just to show you, we're going to back up the default domain policy. I'm backing up it up to the location of policy compare, so the folder that I just created for comparing GPOs. I'm going to back up the policy. And now, once the policy has been backed up, now we need to actually take another policy from the security baseline just to compare those two. And we're going to see the differences. So we're going to go to GPOs. And we are going to be looking for uh, Windows Server Security. So this is, a, uh, uh, this, is, this is Windows Server 2002 Domain Controller. So this is it's not the, the one that we need. Uh, let's go maybe here, this one, let's check. So uh, this is the domain security, Windows Server 2022 domain security, and this is the GPO that we are going to be actually copying from here, just to compare everything. Okay, so we're going to go to com policy compare, we're going to paste it here, and now you need to go to policy analyzer. And you need to just uh, open Policy Analyzer. And just remember to set uh, this path policy rule set to be set to your folder that you created, which is mine is Policy Compare. Okay, so now we're gonna do Add File, Add Files from GPOs, and as you can see. Uh, uh, I'm here in my policy compare. I got those two GPOs, so the the default domain policy from my from my DC and the baseline from Microsoft. Now select a folder, okay, and now we're gonna just choose uh, this default domain policy template, so TMPL template, and uh, we're gonna choose the template for the domain security for Windows Server. We're going to import both of those. And now, sorry about this nagging error. Uh, now we're going to save a, a policy rule set. So you can call it whatever you want. I'm just going to call it rules. Doesn't matter. And now we have our rules here and we can go to view and compare. So basically what we are doing now with the policy analyzer, we are, we are comparing the baseline 
uh, policies that uh, Microsoft um, is actually uh, uh, giving us to our um, to our GPO policies and straight straight away we have a first conflict here so if we check around uh, this setting so we get local bed count so as you can see uh, the default is set to zero and uh, it should at least be set according to Windows Microsoft Windows uh, domain security it should be set to at least 10 so uh, yeah, our policy is set to zero in our default domain policy so that's the first thing that we should actually uh, change second if we go to conflict of course it's password so in our default domain policy we have password minimum length uh, set to 7 Microsoft suggests uh, 14 at least so basically this is how you compare those uh, those two uh, main policies you can take uh, your mm, default domain policy and compare it to the uh, Windows security baseline policy and see what kind of conflicts you actually have okay so this is the first thing we're gonna now delete it and we're gonna go again to our group policy management and we're gonna now uh, back up the default domain controller policy so I'm gonna back this up again to policy compare of course just remember to after doing all of this comparing you need to scratch this so I'm gonna delete everything so we won't have any mishaps I'm gonna back it up okay and now we're gonna need to go to our baseline and we need to in GPOs look for the uh, Windows Server Windows Server domain controller there you go so this is the one that we need for com comparing okay so uh, this is gonna be this GPO we're gonna copy it we're gonna go to our policy compare we're gonna paste it here we're gonna open the analyzer again add add files from the GPO select the folder okay and again we're gonna choose the default domain controller policy template so uh, GPT template in and we're gonna choose the Windows uh, Server 2022 domain controller TMPL template so I'm gonna import both of those just to compare them and again we need to create a rule set again okay and now we can actually view and compare those those baseline policies with our policies okay so uh, as you can see we got here some successes and failures so mm, this one is a little bit different so uh, um, here as you can see uh, option rule set 2 right uh, what do we have here Kerberos service ticket operations account logon Uh, default uh, on client uh, additions no auditing default on servers additions success okay so basically as you can see there is quite a lot of uh, quite a lot of uh, different options that you can uh, check so success and fail failure there you go so I guess not all of the mm, things are set according of course to the baseline of Microsoft so what do you need to do you just need to basically go through all the failures right you got the failures you get the conflicts so you can set them up so I got here success and failures successes uh, failures right here we got conflicts here okay so we have like 
um, backup file and di directories. So what is set on the default domain control control policy? What kind of um, groups are set for backups and what should be set? Uh, okay, here restore privilege, uh, LDAP uh, uh, server integrity again. So here's the default domain control policy setting. This is the baseline setting that is suggested. So always the suggested setting is the last one. So again, our setting, suggested setting, and so on and so on. And so you can go through all of those options of your uh, default domain policy just to compare them. Okay, so this is basically the analyzer, a really handy tool, easy to use. You just need to export everything or actually back it up and then compare everything you need. As always, like and subscribe and I will see you.